present a chemical experiment. So, let's start off with the chemical reaction. For this chemical experiment, I have taken the following ingredients. Baking soda. The most important ingredient of this experiment, vinegar. Some food coloring and it is optional. Some liquid dish soap. Two glasses. And the last and final ingredient, an ordinary teaspoon. So let's begin with the experiment. As you can see, I have taken um, a small tray and a bits of tissue in case um, it gets a little messy. So let's get started. First, we will add a little bit of vinegar in both the glasses. vinegar in both the glasses. Now we will add some food color. So I have chosen red. So we will just take a little bit of food color in this spoon. And in the next glass to make it a little more colorful, I will just take some green food coloring. Approximately 2 to 3 teaspoons of baking soda. Take approximately this, this much. So, if you wish, you can take a little bit more also. And now, we'll add dish soap. And since this is not overflowing, and I'll just take a little more baking soda and vinegar. So as you can see, what was our observation? When I added baking soda to the vinegar, we saw, we heard a fizzing sound and a thick froth took place and it started overflowing. So now we'll see what is the conclusion. Why did this happen? Vinegar or diluted acetic acid combined with baking soda or sodium bicarbonate. It yields a cascade of two chemical reactions. The end products are carbon dioxide a gas and water in which two chemical products sodium ions and acetate ions are dissolved. As you observe this reaction we see the carbon dioxide gas as bubbles rising to the surface of the liquid and hear a fizzing noise. Thank you.